It was the only thing I was saying is that that was very interesting because I remember that night he talked about uh, the the uh, European Masonic orders and how the Mexican gangs in Los Angeles and around the country use Masonic symbols from a particular Masonic order in Europe, while the black gangs use an opposing symbols and in, in terms and symbols of a different Masonic order in Europe. And, they, and that most likely the, the, the gang members themselves do not realize that these are actually can be traced back to Masonic symbols in Europe. And, and so I believe that the gangs going on in America today are being organized, directed, and financed out of Europe to destroy our culture in America. I think that European Freemasonry is heavily involved in destroying America. And you need to understand the whole story about how America was founded and how it was, a, it was founded as a corporation. It's a privately owned corporation. We can you know, talk about that for days on the end. Um, and this is just my opinion, one man's opinion. But I'm going to give you my opinion as to the bottom line on the world today and the stuff that's going on on the earth today uh, what we call Illuminati was a, originally uh, a term which is given to us uh, in Spain to um, a religious order in Spain that later on were amalgamated into what we call Jesuits. So the Jesuits are truly Illuminati themselves. Um, and the Vatican, and, and you go well, that into was that what I was going well. to say. Yes, I believe that one of the most evil organizations that exist on the earth today. And you'd have to have spent all the years with me in libraries and research societies and traveling around the world and talking to other writers, authors, lecturers, and teachers and collecting this stuff over a period of 45 to 48 years to understand what I'm telling you. But I believe today the most serious evil organization on the face of the earth is the Vatican. That's my personal opinion. I think if, if the Vatican was done away with off the face of the earth, there would be a shout of liberation heard around the world. <clears throat> because the Vatican, in my opinion, is the, is the bulwark of this dark thing that's happening on the earth. So when you talk about Illuminati, when you talk about the really dark criminal stuff that's going on in the earth, you're talking the Vatican. You're talking the Knights of Malta, which gave us the six men who founded the CIA in America were all Catholics, members of the Knights of Malta. When you begin to look at the banking fraternities in America, like the Bank of America, Union Bank in California, all of these people who founded these banks and today are running the banking establishment are all Knights of Malta, Catholic masonry. So when I hear people talking about the Jews this, the Jews that, and the Jews are responding, I said, no, no, you better go back and do your homework. The Jews have been slaughtered all over, all over Europe by the Vatican. You need to remember that for at least 2,300 years, Rome has dominated Europe. Under the Caesars of Rome and in the 4th century, late 4th century, the Vatican comes into, into being. And the Vatican dominates all of Europe, all the heads of state, all the princes and kings and rulers, all the kings and rulers in Europe ruled by the divine right. It's called the divine right of kings. What are you talking about? Who represents divine to give the king the right? The Pope. The Pope appoints certain families to be over the French. The Pope appoints certain people to be over the Germans and over the British. And so by divine right. Why? Because the Pope represents God. And the Pope says that this family is holy and that they should rule. And therefore, they could now say they rule by divine right. And the whole idea of divine goes back to the chalice, you know, and the, the holy grail. And in the Catholic Mass, you have the, the priest breaking the bread and then pouring the wine, 
Well, wine is made from grapes, and wine is red. So it's a red grape wine represents the blood of, of the atonement blood. It's a blood sacrifice. But where does the blood, I mean, where does the wine come from? It comes from grapes, and grapes grow on divine. And that's where we get the concept of the word divine, because it comes from, grapes come from divine. <laughs> so that's where we get the word divine. And once you begin to realize how the Vatican has for over 2,300 years, Rome has dominated Europe, and in 1,600 years, the Vatican has dominated Europe. And Europe for 2,300 years has dominated the earth. So if you want to talk about conspiracies and you want to talk about evil, don't talk about Jews. You better talk about the people who would control Europe for over 2,300 years, Caesar of Rome, the Roman Catholic establishment. There's the real story. Now you're getting into mafiosi. Now you're getting into the fraternal orders of Freemasonry out of Europe, Knights of Malta. Now you're getting into the organized crime, Sicily, Corsica, Corsica and all of the profound drug running white slavery, murder for hire, Vatican. I mean, even, uh, what was his name, the producer of Godfather? Um, what was his name? Uh, Francis Ford Copeland. Mm -hmm. And Godfather Three, Francis Ford Copeland and Godfather Three, the third one in the series, opens up with Michael Corleone being anointed by the Cardinal in New York to be a member of the Knights of Malta in the Catholic Church in New York. What is he telling you? The connection between the Vatican, the Holy Father, there's nothing holy about the Holy Father. There's nothing holy in Israel, nothing. There's nothing holy in the Vatican. There is nothing holy in Salt Lake City. There's nothing holy in religion, period. It's a way that the masters, whoever these entities are who are controlling the human race, they have set up certain institutions of learning, of education, religion, and government. That's why I've said you better go back and do your homework on where the history of the world comes from. I don't see the world being run by Jews. I see Jews being used but you will find that even Rothschild, the, the, uh, the, the Rothschild family who we hear so much about, those Jews who were running Europe. No, if you go back and look at the history of the Rothschilds, you will find that Rothschild represented the Vatican. He was dealing for the Vatican. He was a Vatican banker appointed by the Vatican to deal for them so that the Catholic Church would never be involved in all that terrible stuff going on in banking. We'll let the Jew do it. Then, of course, if, if something comes out, well, it's Jewish, obviously. No, no, it's your money that he was handling. So if you really want to nail down the real enemy to America and, and to the earth, I'm telling you, it's only taken me 48 years to get here. I was born and raised Catholic. I mean, I, 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 my whole family were very Catholic in town. We were the most Catholic family in town. But I know history. And I know that the most criminal organization on the face of the earth, in my humble opinion, I, I don't know that much about it, I've just, I've just been looking at it for 48 years, is the Vatican. As far as I'm concerned, it's you. the worst thing that's ever happened to the world, is what's really going on in the Vatican. And that doesn't even bring up the subject of propaganda due, P2, the propaganda due, P2 Lodge, that was even mentioned in Godfather 3 twice. There's a Masonic order in, in Europe called Propaganda Due. It's called P2. And it is the, it's connected directly, P2 is connected directly through membership with Opus Dei and the Knights of Malta and the Jesuits. Jesuits, Opus Dei, Knights of Malta, Masonic order are connected directly to something called Propaganda Due, P2 Lodge of Freemasonry. P2 Lodge of Freemasonry is world famous to people who do research into criminal organizations. And P2 is, is pure, unadulterated, 
pouring directly out of the trough Nazism. Underworld organizations, drugs, humans, uh, human trafficking, pornography, violence, underworld organizations, it's all P2. They are the ones who are promoting the, uh, the uh, right-wing death squads in Central and South America, Mexico, the drug cartels in Colombia, we're talking Catholic, Knights of Malta, drug cartels, Colombia, um, extraordinary vice on a, on, a, on a level which it is hard for most humans to, to recognize, and it's all being orchestrated out of the Holy Father and Rome. This is why I've said so many times, there's never going to be a time in the history of this country that America will be saved. I don't believe America can be saved. I truly do not believe that America or the human race, I don't think there's, that I'm just, it's just my opinion again, but I don't think the human race can be saved and I don't think America can be saved because so many millions of people just love the filth and degeneracy of the world we live in. They love it. They love the Holy Father and all the pomp and glory of, the, of all the politicians and kings and rulers and, and, and the, the pusillanimous pictures of Bush you know, kissing the ring of the Holy, pa Holy Father. What does that look like for Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi in full color on the news, bowing down and curtsying and bowing down and kissing the ring of a Roman pontiff. The men who founded our great nation would throw up with this treason, high crimes and treason against the state by these people who call themselves America's leaders. I'm telling you, the Vatican has given us the mafia, drug running, prostitution, Terrorism, child, violence, child, child, child pornography, pornography, all of it. And the children that are disappearing.